What's up YouTube? I'm Joe. You're watching my channel Ink and Iron and today we're going to talk about the Hermes rocket, specifically cleaning it. Um, if you've been following my typewriter videos, you saw me clean the case for this thing already. This case looks stellar, but the typewriter itself has not been cleaned. So I'm just going to give you a rundown on how to, how to do that. This will apply to all wrinkle finishes. As you can see, there's a deep texturing to this finish. It is on top of a steel body, so if you have a typewriter like this, it could be multiple colors, but if it's got that uh, kind of, you know, modeled look to it, this cleaning technique will apply. So the first thing you want to do is take off the body panels. So I'm just going to remove the screws and uh, take them off. You can see the screws kind of along the sides here, so get yourself a screwdriver and uh, get to work. This part's pretty easy. It might seem intimidating if you're new, but... I trust that you can do this even if you're not that handy. Okay, as you can tell, I Martha stewarded that by removing most of the screws before uh, doing it on camera. So what you should be left with is a bottom panel, and maybe you have feet, maybe you don't. My feet did survive the years. You get a little back plate here with the logos or whatever, you know, whatever you got left after all the years of wear and the uh, ribbon cover, the little gull wing design along with the uh, main body that surrounds the keyboard. So all we're looking at here is just like stamped steel and we're not going to do anything crazy. We're going to take a uh, just a nylon brush here and a solution of simple green. This is about 1 to 10 ratio. I just eyeballed it. So if you got this light green color, that's probably fine. This does come in a clear solution, which is probably better, but um, a little bit of green residue on the basically, you know, lichen green color of this typewriter is not going to bother me much. So I'm going with the, uh, the green stuff that we had here at the shop. And literally all we're going to do is take one panel and I just have this um, fresh cotton rag underneath to show you how much stuff comes off of here. I'm just gonna mist it. And this stuff is pretty safe. I'm wearing gloves because I'm shooting other videos at the moment. I prefer to work in circles. I find it works well for this sort of texture. Pretty much it. Let's see. I don't think the bottom's gonna be that dirty. Yeah, no, yeah, it's pretty clean. Typically, the top side of a typewriter will be dirtier because you get things like, uh, you know, cigarette smoke building up on it over the years. So, yeah, I did the easy part like this, and we'll just time lapse the rest of it so I don't have to don't have to take all day showing you how to do some basic typewriter stuff. You can do this. I trust you. When you're done with these panels, set them aside to dry. And uh, if you want, if you feel like there's residue left over, take a damp rag with just clean water and just give them a once over. Quick side note, be as careful as possible. I use a very gentle brush, a very gentle cleaning solution, and it takes a very gentle hand not to just bend this really thin metal. So just be mindful of that. I am surprised how relatively clean this typewriter is because if you saw my case cleaning video the case was disgusting so yeah uh, the, the you know typewriter itself is remarkably clean I would just like to quickly note that I am not cleaning the interior of any of these steel body panels from the typewriter only the exteriors okay so our typewriter body panels are clean really wasn't that dirty so pretty happy with that and I just took a rag 
dried it off and then flipped it over and dried off any excess moisture on the inside to prevent future rust. So the last thing that we're going to do here, well, we're going to do what Dwayne from Phoenix Typewriter does for crinkle finish. We're going to use WD-40. So get a good look at the amount of shine, which is basically nothing right now, right? Compare it to the shininess of the can. Very, very dull luster on here right now. Um, WD-40 does contain a certain amount of paraffin wax, which is okay to put on the surface of a typewriter. Be warned, if you don't like the smell of WD-40, this will make your machine smell like it, but it does give it a little bit more uh, gloss, a little bit of a better finished look. So. I've only tried this on a blue typewriter, so that's kind of why I'm trying it on this green one here. And I'm just going to work it in with a toothbrush. Dwayne works it in with a brass brush, but I feel like that's a little bit harsh to put on these old machines and, and rough up their surfaces. I'm just, you know taking precautions that I feel are worth it. You can do whatever you like. I'm not gonna tell you how to how to use your machine or what kind of finish to put on it. Yeah, just work in that WD-40. Try and get it in all the high visibility areas. This will also displace any water that is still left on the surface. WD stands for water displacement because it is meant to chase water out of hard to reach places and metal fixtures. So not a bad overall product for finishing. I'm still experimenting with it to see, you know, if I if I really like it or if I'm just going off of what other people do on YouTube. Okay, so yet another clean rag. I go through a ton of these every day at work, so not a big deal. Just gonna gently rag it off. It's okay if you don't get all of it. The majority of WD-40 is simply the solvent that carries the uh, paraffin wax and you know whatever other compounds are in this. So it will evaporate. You don't have to worry too much about getting all of it. Okay, well, <laughs> what do you think? I think there's just a touch more gloss on this finish now. It's really, really subtle. Um, I get why Dwayne does it because he, you know, sells typewriters out of his shop. Um, but for me, it's sort of a trade off between. Um, a nicer finish and your typewriter are smelling like WD-40 for forever, basically. <laughs> so, totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and treat the other two pieces and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll be done. By the way, if you don't have a bunch of cotton rags like I do, you can use paper towels. It won't be a problem here. Okay, there you go. That adds just just a little bit of ability to catch the light and reflect it back. Okay, there you go. And that's my Hermes rocket. Looking spiffy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean the keyboard and give the rest of it a quick cleaning. But that'll be a separate video. So thank you for joining me. I've been Joe. You've been watching Ink and Iron for more typewriter stuff as well as tools, EDC gear, fountain pens, all that kind of thing. Stick around, like, subscribe, do the things, and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.